here we are again, people. We've done enough to review this time. We're going to look at the Stingray. The Stingray was originally going to be some kind of uh, upgrade to the Sheridan. And then the Stingray kind of blossomed into various other things like the XM8 and the M8 Thunderbolt, both of which are actually the same tank. But the US Army kind of decided they didn't want the Stingray. It didn't have the boomstick of the Sheridan, so that's why the Sheridan's still in service with quite a lot of the military. And the Stingray isn't it really enough. But in Armored Warfare it's you know it's a lot better than the Stingray. It's the tier six light tank. Um, there is another tier six light tank in game, it's called the VFM Mark V. And you may be thinking, oh well the VFM Mark V is better, it has armor, it's it's faster, but the Stingray rewards a more gameplay finesse. It has 381 damage compared to the VFM 5's 339. It has 350 millimeters of penetration compared to the VFM 5's 303 damage. And it has 4387 damage per minute compared to the VFM's 3700. It also has a 5.21 second aim time compared to the VFM's. 5.39. It has a little bit less hit points and less armor, but overall the Stingray is the more gun tank. It's much better at supporting vehicles, it's got a faster, more punchy, more damaging, more accurate gun, while the VFM kind of rewards getting up close and personal. In fact, its gun has more penetration and a little less damage than the Leopard 2, I than the Leopard 2 AV's gun is, as well as the XM1 the Expeditionary Tank, and the RDF. With all of these stats maxed out, such as Energy Drink, Intercon Systems, or Commander Breach Light, you can do whatever you want with it to be honest, uh, as well as Freya. This thing is pretty terrifying to come up against to be honest, if driven by a good player. It's a glass cannon, probably really represents the, uh, the best of the light tank line in that they are glass cannons with Sometimes better guns than the MBTs. It's pretty quick. Let's just have a look at the upgrades. So you get a choice of free AP ammo. You know, always get the last one. Uh, the engine at the moment doesn't really do that much, but changes come. It's probably a guarantee that the engine's going to change. Doesn't get any armor. Gets a retrofit slot as well as a technology slot. So armor. Technology, universal. Basically, universal, armor, technology. I suppose if you wanted to, you could do braided Kevlar wiring, um, but I don't particularly want to waste my money to see how those stats go. So let's have a look at the base stats of the vehicle. 74 millimeters of armor on the turret and 58 on the on the uh, upper glacis itself. It might be a little stronger because it's sloped, but overall this thing will not bounce up. It won't bounce anything in the game. Do not get shot in it. Cadmoy steel, meaning it's a 1.65 modifier. Uh, you've seen the damage per minute and everything there. Max speed is 66.6 kilometers an hour. I'm not sure if that's a reference to being a devil. Zip 0 to 32 in 3.18 seconds. It's relatively fast. A gun depression over the front of 7.5 degrees, accuracy of 0 0.07, it's relatively enough, and the name time of 2.09. Uh, this thing actually used to be completely overpowered in the um, in the uh, later parts of the alpha, in which it had perfect ac accuracy on the move. Wait for the truck to go. Um, and could literally just reliably just run rings around MBTs. It then used to be a little weaker when it had a gun that was worse than the VFM fires, but now it's got a much better gun. It can punch the shit out of people over and over and over again. All right, let's take a look at the replays. It's Friday. It's There we go. So, uh, 
I was playing this with my girlfriend, Fiora the Tank Girl, and Hell Spiker in this Terminator. This was a, an interesting game, to say the most. Uh, they have all of the um, all of the TADs. We have all of the Challenger ones, and we start on the side. I, to be honest, I don't particularly like this side. Um, I prefer the other side, where they have, in my opinion, a better shot at the refinery, as well as a better shot at dominating that middle part there, where they can rain anti-tank missiles down at any vehicles that come to the refinery. Affirmative. Uh, so, to be honest, if I wanted to play this Stingray more, I would put a camo, a bit, a bit of camo on it. There's people talking to each other in chat and stuff. Uh, they have a lot more concentrated fire in the form of their T-80s and same Tower 120s, but we've got more armor with our Challenger ones. Uh, so for the, the first part, the usual uh, light tank rush to the center to try and block anyone coming up. Uh, I used my smoke there because I got spotted. And it's me right then. Going up to the center. For the uh, the most part, things kind of went a little, a little, little bit hectic over there. As a uh, as runner, unfortunately, well, not yet. But she suffers from a disconnect, thus propelling her tank to go forwards, and you probably know how this one ends. 768 damage shot from Centaur 120 over there. I didn't know she was disconnected. I get hit by that 120. I didn't manage to do any damage, but of course she's dead. She's dead, that Centaur 120 is simply for 691. Really low roll for him there if he's using the maxed out stats, but right now I'm the only person holding the center. Hell Spike is down in the Terminator, and unfortunately things aren't going as was planned. To be honest, uh, I was a. Uh, Fiora then came online asking why she was dead, and and, and, um, and I said to her, well. You were dead. Even if you did manage to log back in, um, you were dead. Oh, sorry, 360 on that very found Mark 5 over there. Good punchy hit. I'm still moving up here, wanting to see if anyone's around. The only person around there is a weasel. There's a TAE over there as well. I don't want to get hit by him. So uh, right now I was kind of thinking that I was dead to be honest. Um, the game didn't so to be well to me, I've lost Renner and uh, Hellspiker. Renner was Fiora the tank girl by the way. I can't call her Fiora anymore to be honest. I have to call her Renner, girlfriend in that one. I've said that multiple times already. Um, but yeah, to be honest here I was like well I'm gonna friggin die. I'm a tier 6 in this game, there's too many tier 7s around, the Centauros on my right, TAD's on the left, and some goddamn BMP in the center that will rip me to shreds. Don't know what happened now. But yeah, things weren't looking too good. For the most part of this game, I was just, uh, just running around not doing much, to be honest. Uh, initially I wanted to go over there, but then I got a hit on that BMD4. 408 damage, launched the smoke rounds. Uh, he managed to do a couple of shots on me. But now, I have him at pretty low dam at pretty low health, I couldn't two-shot him. And I'll probably certainly kill him before he kills me, but in doing so I'll trade off all away all of my hit points, and that's never a good idea, is it? There's a T80 over there. I'm not particularly enthusiastic about going anywhere near him. Uh, 
at this point I was talking to people doing admin duties. Um, like I said, I was very, very convinced I was going to die. Another TAD over there. Bounced of course, I aimed at the lower plate. This thing is accurate enough, but hitting weak spots like that at that range probably wouldn't happen to be honest. See how that BMD4 comes up? Missed him. But now I've got him. Now it's aiming, aiming, aiming. And then you can obviously tell what happens after then. But then, that TOD over there. 398 damage. He's looking at me. But then, to be honest, if he'd have moved behind that concrete wall, he could have gotten me. But now I've got a friggin' T8 standing at me. And while I was thinking that I was going to move up, uh, Renner was screaming at me to put my um, self behind the buildings. But now that TED is distracted by and that shot against that, well, by that uh, Centaur 120 over there, I was um, probably able to uh, actually um, move out of those buildings and go up against them. So now I'm on two kills, that BMD and that Centaur 120. I've practically done my hit points and damage, which you do always try to do. And now to piss off the TLD. Hello TLD, how are you? Have 390 damage. <laughs> I can tell you he was not a happy bunny. And you can probably tell that he's still likely standing there. And we clean his clock. Centaur's dead. So now I was initially thinking about capping, Incoming, driver, move. but now that but now that uh, Akatichiko is firing at us, we kind of know where he is. You see on the map where he was last spotted, he's just fired. He can't he can't he can't get away now. <laughs> and our artillery is uh, counter battering him, of course, to keep him pinned. I think I don't know if our artillery is trying to hit him or keep him pinned. For me, but either way, our artillery did a good job. I uh, had already used the vehicle speed boost earlier. Probably, n probably not a good idea there. But no, he's dead as well. Now I need to go up a bit. I'm using the dunes and stuff to cover. Uh, my little nerves show when I slow down a bit and I want him to get hit at. Oh, Palo Mario does a naughty. By swearing at people. Silly boy. Uh, but now the Centaur 120, while he does have the biggest stick here, uh, he kind of left that VBL alone, and you can see what amusingly happened to him. I hit that VFM Mark 5 over there, 420, 412 damage, and to be honest, that VFM might actually be able to kill that Centaur. I miss him. The Centauri shoots high explosive at him? I don't know. But yeah, that Centauri really effed up there. He, he, he should be gone for that vehicle. So I just blamed the VFM in the turret. <laughs> that was, to be honest, one of those games, even when you think you're gonna lose, don't back out, don't drown. Stick at it. I stuck at it. And I was rewarded with quite a nice game. Showing the power of the Stingray's gun over there, being able to whack those TADs on that VFM 5. As well as the reload being able to consistently pound people over and over and over and over again. Uh, actually, a comparison between the Leopard 2 AV and the Stingray can be found in the Leopard 2 AV actually reloads almost a full second slower. So theoretically, if they were both firing at each other, the Stingray might have the advantage. Anyway, that's the uh, Stingray with you over. Take care everyone and... Uh, so I see you all next time.